Alright guys, so this is a wheel seal or axle seal replacement on a full float axle. Uh, basically you start by jacking it up, taking your bolts off, uh, then the axle shaft slides right out. Then you want to take, uh, there's a retainer clip in there uh, that you want to take out that holds your keyway in. Uh, and you'll see them take the keyway out here in a second. Uh, this is a Dana 70 axle, so it should be pretty similar to anything out there. Uh, and then there is, this is the ring that holds in uh, the pressure on your wheel bearings. So, we didn't have the correct tool to get it out or put it in. We just used the punch. They do make correct tool. Here, you just, uh, we're driving out the uh, wheel seal, axle seal. And you can see there it is. And you want to make sure to lubricate the wheel bearing before you stick it back in with uh, gear oil. So here you just uh, we just put a cover over it to keep the dirt out and gave it a good whack and that set it. Then we're just pressing it in. These are not greasable. They are lubricated by the axle. So you want to be sure when you put it all back together, make sure you have enough fluid in it and jack up one side, have the gear oil go to the one side, then jack up the other side, have it go to the other side, then you're fully lubricated. And here we are sticking it back in. Now this is just like a front wheel or a two wheel drive pickup truck. You put it all the way in to make sure that you have your bearings set and they're where they're supposed to be in the races. So just tighten it up as far as you can, then loosen it and then just go tight on it uh, again, but not super tight. Just tighten it up to get the slack out of it and then tighten it up to get your keyway in. So... He put the keyway in, and then you saw him putting a clip in. Here, we're just cleaning up the axle. Uh, you can get a gasket for this, but we choose to use silicone. It's much cheaper, much easier, uh, and you always get a good seal. So make sure you're using Ultra Black RTV. Uh, that is the most oil resistant. So here we are just putting it on. Uh, we don't have the special tip or whatever. Not special tip, but the tip you use to put it on. So we just put it on by hand. And then just crank her back down, and you're pretty much set to go. Uh, again, guys, make sure that you are tipping the axle side to side once you have it back together so you are properly lubricated. But, yeah, basically that's all it is. It's just like doing a uh, two-wheel drive pickup truck, just a little bit uh, different taking it apart. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Uh, stay tuned, hit subscribe, we always have new stuff coming out.